This is Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's contestants. An advertising copywriter originally from Miami, Florida, Frank Saladon. A freelance copywriter originally from Plainview, New York, Lois Feinstein. And an energy demonstrator from Waverly, Ohio, Greg Hopkins. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all of us, welcome to America's favorite answer and question game, Jeopardy. You know how we play it. We provide the categories and the answers, and it's then up to our contestants to give us the right questions. Phew! How'd you like that time warp? I'm your actual host today, Michelle Colley, and I'm here to teach you how to make a PowerPoint presentation into a Jeopardy game. And if you're an instructor, this could be especially useful because you could use it as a review tool in your classroom. So let's get started. First things first, if you're short of time or don't want to spend the time to learn PowerPoint, then download one of these templates. They're all good and some will have more features than what I've been able to figure out to do, such as keeping score or uh, making the points disappear after you've selected them, which I'll explain in just a minute. Okay, so here I am in PowerPoint. You'll notice that I have a Mac computer, so the layout of your PowerPoint could be different if you're on a PC, uh, but you should still get the gist of things. I'm on my title slide, and I've already gone ahead and added the Jeopardy title to it. There it is. And the font, in case you're wondering, is called Bauhaus 93, and I changed the color. And just a quick add-on, if you want this... Uh, title to come in on an animation which uh, is in this tab animations and I last time I used one called pinwheel now I've added that animation to this uh, text box so it'll come in with a little bit of flair next I'm going to go to my second slide and this is going to be my game board this is the most complicated slide um, because of all the buttons that are on it. Uh, but once you have the idea of the first few, then it comes together pretty quick. Okay, so to add the buttons to your game board, first thing you need to do is go to Insert, Shapes, and let's use a rounded edge uh, rectangle. I know from past experience that if I do a box approximately four by two centimeters, something like that, it will fit all of the boxes I need on the board because I need, in the game I created, 25 boxes on this page. So I create the one and then I start control C, control V and start lining them up. Yeah, and you could spend hours realigning things, making sure they're lined up nicely, change the colors, change the font, whatever you like. This is the basic game board. So now is when the magic happens. Give yourself a new slide and then go into view, slide master. The slide master helps you create a template slide that you can recreate the features on without having to do it on every single slide. And on this slide we're going to first add a shape. And we're going all the way to the bottom of the, t of the options and we're going to add an action button. We're going to use custom in this case. And because this will be labeled as our clue slide, we only need one button. Notice this comes up right away. We want to hyperlink to the next slide. Click OK. Then let's add the word answer to it so you know where you're going when you click that button. And then that's all we need to do on this slide. So let's get on to this other slide. Oh, pardon me. On this slide, it's a good idea to rename it. And let's call it Clue. So when we go into layout and pick this, we know what we're looking at. 
this is the answer slide so we're doing the same thing we're adding shape this time why don't we add a home button because once we've answered the question we want to go back home and in this case we are going to choose slide dot 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 and we want to go back to our game board which is right there we can add a couple more buttons if we want these ones again I'm going to use an action button and this time I'm going to add sound button and let's make the sound applause so we don't need a hyperlink on this slide on this button and let's make another one change the color and action setting let's change the sound let's make it oh so that way when we click on it we can either applaud the answer or nicely boo the answer rename this slide by right click rename let's call it answer and let's get out of slide master back on your original slide that you created it's now got a layout if you go here to clue and we want to create another pair of the pair that will be your answer so you come to layout answer you'll be repeating this pair with every point button that you've got from the game boat screen highlight the text and go into insert hyperlink we want a hyperlink on this document and let's look at slide titles here and right now slide three is where we want to go when we click on 100. Notice how now that I have inserted a hyperlink the color of the text changed. You can edit that text by going up to format theme colors. This shows you all the different colors according to the different things that you add to your presentation. The important one is hyperlink and followed hyperlink and change them as needed. Followed hyperlink means that that is the color that the button will change once you've selected it and then come back to this slide, which is how you know if you've chosen those uh, that particular question. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video when I was saying how some templates will have that uh, points number disappear so that uh, you know you've selected it. However, I found this quite difficult to do, and I did follow a bunch of different YouTube videos and online blogs and still wasn't able to do it. So maybe someday. One more thing. On your clue slide, make sure you have a label at the top telling you what clue it relates to. So column one or category one, 100. That way you know uh, when you're adding a whole bunch of slides on the left hand side of your page here um, you'll know which one you're working with do the same with the answer that corresponds to that question so you know that they're a pair after this you can select the pair control C and print pairs as needed this pair here the second pair is going to be one 200 same with the answer one 200 and so on until you have enough for the entire board so just to finish up let's go to the slideshow and have a look at what we've got play from start fancy title game board click on 100 it comes to your clue page click on answer there's your answer I got it right. Oh, got it wrong. And then come back to home. Make sure when you're creating your board that you test every single button for its functionality and make sure that everything leads to where it's supposed to um, so that you don't have bloopers in the class.
<laughs> I love that. Uh, so um, you've learned a basic Jeopardy game and I hope it's useful to you and if you have any questions use the Google machine. There's tons of resources online uh, both with YouTube and with blogs of people who've done this before and again if you don't want to spend the time and learn PowerPoint you can just download a, a template. Uh, but I suggest you do spend some time with PowerPoint because when you start messing with those templates uh, you can change the settings and it's such a good idea to learn how to do the settings in the first place because then you can fix mistakes if you make them rather than having to start over again. Alright, good luck!